Welcome to the second week of practice on the paper violin. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Turn on notifications for more videos like this. Let's go over the parts of the instrument, review left hand setup, do our steps to playing position, and do finger drop, finger stop for the left hand. Now here's the head of the violin. There's the scroll and the pegs. The pegs are inside the peg box. There's the nut, good remembering from last week. From the head down to the body is the neck. You remembered that too, that was awesome. Now let's remember that that black piece of ebony that is goes from the nut down to the bridge or almost to the bridge is called the fingerboard. The fingerboard. That's where we're gonna put our fingers down. This is the bridge easy to remember. There's the sound holes. This is the tailpiece and on top of the tailpiece are the fine tuners. That's the chin rest. Remember for this week we're going to remember the tailpiece, the fine tuners, and the end button. The tailpiece, the fine tuners, and the end button. Now let's talk about or the bow. This is the frog and this is the tip. So we want to make sure we know where the tip is and where the frog is because we're going to be going down bow and up bow. Those are the two different directions the bow can go. So on the around the frog we have the frog, the turning screw, the eyelet, um, and the grip and the binding. And there's a little reminder of why we don't touch the hair on the bow. Now we're gonna go over left hand setup. So start with the left hand in a very flat position with your thumb up. You can do a couple karate chops if you want, but you want it flat like a piece of paper. Then find the base of the first finger and you're gonna see a little crease there where you've bent your finger and place it on the violin. Then you're going to slide the hand um, from the nut to the base of the instrument all, all along the neck. Now you're gonna stop at the nut, so your hand is gonna be up by the nut and you're gonna stop your hand and tap your thumb. Then tap your fingers. Now we're going to strum by keeping the two points of contact on the thumb and the base of the first finger. You might only be able to strum with your second, third, and fourth finger and leave your first finger alone. It might be down or it might be up. Either one is fine. And that's how we set up the left hand. It's time to sing the rest position song. One, two, ready, go. Rest position, feet in line. Scroll in front, that's mighty fine. Check your bridge, cause it should be peeking out at you and me. Now it's time to take a bow. Uno, dos, y tres is how. That's the rest position song. We're going to do that just one more time today. One, two, ready, go. Rest position, feet in line. Scroll in front, that's mighty fine. Check your bridge, cause it should be peeking out at you and me. Now it's time to take a bow. Uno, dos, y tres is how. That's the rest 
the rest position song. Now let's go over your steps to playing position. Rest position to playing position. Okay, so now we're gonna try some music. I have picked out some music I like. You can stop the video after this turn and turn on some music you like and do it to the beat of your song. Here we go. Feet together. Violin under your right arm. Ready? Okay, so now we're going to do the last piece of it and that is finger drop, finger stop. We really want our fingers to work independently and this is just one game you can use to get your fingers to work independently and I will add more in the coming weeks. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're just gonna put your violin up in playing position and just tap those fingers, tap those fingers. Um, make sure they're not really scrunched up but they're nice and loose and relaxed. They look like rainbow fingers, and you're just tapping them. Tap, tap. Rest and relax. Tap, tap. Rest and relax. Tap, tap. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to get those fingers up. You can do those a couple more times. Make sure your thumb is on the back of the violin, just like this. And you're going to put your fingers up, like Miss, like I am doing in the video. And then you're gonna do for your first finger, finger drop, finger stop, finger drop, finger stop, finger drop, finger stop, finger drop, finger stop. And then you're gonna pick them up one at a time, starting with the pinky, make sure you're going in order. This might take a few times to practice and that's okay. Just keep going, finger drop, finger stop, finger drop, finger stop, and up, 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 up. We're gonna add this to our routine, just like we added the steps to playing position. We're gonna be doing all this to the beat of the music, so we wanna be really good at it. So when we do it to the beat of the music, it's all going to go together. So let's put the violin down in rest position, wiggle it out, and put the violin back up into playing position, and let's try it one more time. Okay, thumb on the back of the violin, violin back into playing position, Put your fingers up, finger drop, finger stop with the pointer, finger drop, finger stop, middle finger, finger drop, finger stop with the ring finger, finger drop, finger stop with the pinky, up, 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 pointer, middle finger, ring finger, pinky. Up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 down. Great work. You're done with practicing. Don't forget to do it tomorrow. You could even do it like once in the morning and once in the evening. I highly recommend doing this video right before you go to bed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, 
and turn on notifications so you know when I post new videos. Have a great day.